Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about Tender is the Flesh by Augustine Basterica. I think I got that right. If not, I'm sure you guys will let me know. Um, this book is, came highly, highly recommended by my friend Tracy, Tracy Robinson. Everything she suggests, I absolutely adore. Um, I don't know what it is about uh, now, we, we tend to disagree on things we dislike sometimes, but I, everything that, that she has enjoyed, I have enjoyed. Um, the, th this book is no different. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I, want, I don't know why I want to say this. I want to put this up front. This is kind of like Soylent Green, but you know right up front that Soylent Green is people. Um, it is a book about legalized can cannibals. Uh, it has loads and loads of, of gore and violence and very disturbing stuff. But before we get into the body of the review, I'm going to give you a trigger warning for rape and animal abuse. Let's get on with the review. Okay, so we in this book, we follow Marcos, um, who works at the local uh, processing plant. Uh, and uh, his father has dementia. I, his wife left him. He... He's in a bad way. Uh, but on top of that, the world has gone absolutely crazy. Uh, not like roving bands of maniacs or anything, but uh, they have legalized cannibalism because a disease has made animals inedible. Um, so they have gone to human beings that are now being uh, farmed, uh, I guess it is. These human beings are not treated like human beings, they're treated like cattle. Um, the, the women especially are treated absolutely horribly. Um, there, there's a, there's a darkness here that I enjoy and that I appreciate. Uh, so that I don't want to give away too much. There's so much great stuff in this book and it's harder for me to review the books that, uh, I love. I absolutely love. I'm giving this one five stars if you couldn't tell already. Um, it's harder for me to talk about these books because I, I, I tend to focus more on criticisms. Here I have absolutely no criticisms whatsoever. The book is fantastic from beginning to end. Uh, it has the best final line I have read since Pet Cemetery. It my jaw hit the floor. Now Pet Cemetery isn't really a, a twist ending. It's just a wonderful, wonderful final line. In this one. It just it hits it hits like a brick. Um, the the very last line of the book is just way what? Um, it completely changes the tone of the book. In fact, I'd love to reread it to see. It, it you you think that you think something specific about the main character, like we're following this this dude and he's going to do these things, uh, or do certain things, and it's the complete opposite. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, as far as the dread pacing and characters uh, that I look for in every horror novel, the dread is great. I had no idea what was going on. I was on the edge of my seat all the time. Um, the The characters were fantastic, especially the the, the father, uh, Marcos himself. Everybody that you met, you, you you could you could care about or you could at least understand them. Um, and I, I like that. I like even the supporting characters to be just as important as the main characters. I know I'm weird in that way, um, but that's that's how I feel. The the supporting characters should feel just as real as the main character. Um, the pa pacing, I mean, I, I didn't want to put it down. It's fantastic. Also, this is this book is on Scribd. Um, if you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, grab a free trial down there in the doobly-doo. I get a free month. You get a free month. Everybody's happy. In fact, I think you might get two free months. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, but the link's down there. Uh, the audiobook, which I tried out also, is, is fantastic. I enjoyed that as well. It's a very, very short read. Um, it blows by very quickly. Like I said, the, the pacing... The pacing is great. And that's all I really have to say about Tender is the flesh. Um, once again, man, it's hard to review positively for me because I, I focus more on, on criticisms uh, with this channel. But have you read Tender is the Flesh by Augustine Basterica? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Let me know whether you loved it, whether you hated it. Uh, if you loved it or hated it, let me know why you loved it or hated it so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.